Under head coach Ruben Farias, La Jolla doubled their win total, going from three wins in 2016 to six wins in 2017. An improvement helped the Coyotes make their first playoff trip in four years. Now, can La Jolla take the next step trying to make it two straight playoff trips? Defensively, La Jolla will have almost their entire box back. That's three linebackers and two linemen. Then behind them, La Jolla has their talented center fielder, safety Irving Zamora here. He had four picks last year, and Zamora can play defense and offense. That's a plus for a team that's switching up their offensive playbook. La Jolla going to the triple option. That charge will be led by three returning linemen, Damian Tanguma, Jose Chavez, and Alex Rodriguez. And in the backfield, 210-pound running back, Eddie Villarreal. He's a bruising back. Toyota's looking for a new way to have success this time around. Our lineman likes it a lot. They, they prefer running than passing, so yeah. They always work on the run, so we're kind of getting better on it. As long as we, we practice hard and we work together as a team, we could we could go a long way. I'm pretty excited. We got a good nucleus of returning back. Uh, good, uh, got five on the offensive side, six on the defensive side, and hopefully we can continue to build something here and stay injury free and create a good run. There's nobody in our district that you can say tonight it's going to be um, a weak team. Uh, everybody, I mean, pretty much everybody's tough. We need to get closer. We need to depend on each other and know that each other is going to do the right job and know that one individual is going to succeed at no matter what play they have to do. And that's it, team chemistry. La Jolla kicks off their schedule with three non-district games. They'll play Palmview, Roma, and Sherryland before District 36A action begins.